Dear listeners and viewers, welcome back to 7 Minutes with Fi7, the podcast where we are trying to um, get to know each other more, uh, our employees, and explore each other's in the pace values. Uh, so, uh, my name is Ola, and I'll be your host for the next 7 minutes. Um, today, I have a big pleasure to welcome uh, Maxim Stramtsov, who is our business uh, analyst and it's very passionate uh, about sports in general. And I know it's very intense. And what is interesting about it is definitely running, but also connected to charity work. I'm great, Ola, and nice to meet you. Hi, podcasters. Hi, listeners. It's my pleasure to meet you as well. I'm very glad to talk to you. And yeah, thanks for having me here. Super, thank you. Uh, you're getting everyone excited, I think. So we can start. And the first question for you is how you get interesting in running. And if you have any achievements, brag about it. Tell us <laughs> what they are. So let's start from the very beginning. Um, I'm running for like past 10 years. And I started uh, with like average two, three, five kilometers in like per run. And now I'm gross for like 143 kilometer in as an ultra marathon runner. So step by step, slowly, uh, gradually, I have you know improved my running skills, and yeah, now I can consider myself as an ultra runner. 143. It was uh, one of our charity projects. We run from the, our city Zhitomir to Kiev to our capital uh, to raise the money for for the kids who lost their parents during the war, just for the Christmas gifts for them. So we did it in 17 hours with support crew and uh, one of our, my friend and co-founder of our uh, Razon project, Max as well. So we did it, we started at 6 a.m. and finished at 11 p.m. in the uh, center of the Kiev. Oh my goodness, like I see like you had a like a big motivation when it's like a charity work. Um, but like this amount is really unimaginable for me, this amount of time and strength that uh, it requires. It's really like impressive to me. And if you started uh, talking about the Razum project, like maybe uh, we can smoothly move to the Razum project and let us maybe like explain more about these initiatives for people who didn't hear about it. And you already said something about the achievements uh, of it as well, the kind of like results from the very beginning uh, when it started. So just uh, let us know ab about the story of the RASM. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's start with the translation. The RASM, it means like together, just for you guys. It's from translation from Ukrainian language. And uh, yeah, it's basically a running project. Uh, we have started one and a half year ago, just right after six or seven months and uh, when the war started. We a bit, you know, relaxed, understand what's going on. Our parents were safe. And in, we start to join our regular Saturday runs where we can join our community in our city. And we realized that basically we need to do something. So, and, and the best what we can do uh, in our regular lives. It's, it's running, it's our passion. And in the same time, we can try to combine it and to do better things. So, and with this idea, we actually designed the such projects as Erasm. And it's, the idea is super simple. You can run and you can donate. We have like the currency exchange, one kilometer, it's five grimness. It's basically like 10, 15 cents overall. If you run like, 10 kilometers, you donate 50 grivnas. Super easy. And uh, our project is basically focusing in like micro donates niche. What we are doing, for example, we receive the request from the military. It's, it's of course, uh, our main goal is to, to run and to collect donations and support our military forces. We're setting the goal and we're setting the target in our group. So we have our Facebook community. Well, in the very beginning of the project, we just were three of us, and now we are 400. 400 almost everyday active users, we grow a little bit. Now we're still a local community. And the main goal was to unite three running clubs from our city 
it's three different running clubs with different people, different interests. Someone, some people like uh, running uh, road marathons. Some of them like running in the mountains. But we united with a one goal, with one purpose, and with small steps, with small donations, we are raising uh, amount of money which we need to close the requests. And for this one and a half year, we raise it seven hundred plus thousand hryvnias. And our goal to yeah, for this year to close the 1 million on Christmas. So we still have time and, of course, a lot of interesting projects and activities to make it happen. The last question I have for you is uh, a little bit work-related, but I can only imagine how strong you are and how much like persistent you have to be and patient. So I want to ask you, do you see that these values that you gain uh, by doing sport and running is helpful in your work like somehow or is it not? Connected? Oh, really? It's an amazing question. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ola. And, you know, um, people who are actually doing running and love to, to, to go for a job sometimes, yeah, most of them, they say that running for them, it's meditation. I believe you hear it. All of us hear it. That running, it's a meditation. Yeah. For, me. Okay. for me, it's also such kind of meditation. But in from one side, it really can help me, you know, to to put things in my head, in, the, in all the shelves. But from other side, if I do have the complicated task as a business analyst here in B7, in my projects, I actually enjoy to go for a long distance run and i'm getting the you know such amazing insights during this like i don't know or it's connection with some satellites or whatever during the run or maybe i open my chakra you know chakras during the running so i'm getting insights from i don't know where <laughs> honestly i don't know <laughs> from where and after that i just coming to to my laptop open figma open documents and i you know i I, I have issues, I have ideas, I have um, task related jobs solved. Just in my mind, what I need to do, just you know, transfer it to, to the document or mm. to the diagram, whatever. So Max, again, thank you for spending the time to talk to us and sharing. It was amazing, inspirational, and I'm very glad. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah.